hi family welcome back to my channel today we are talking hair pattern for straight or back on rules two basic things you need to set you up for successful pattern are a well detangled hair and two mirrors be using the washroom mirror and a handheld mirror if you do this frequently or if you want to get all fancy you can get this hair pattern mirrors on amazon for ease so what i usually do and what i've seen people do is to part the hair blindly and they use a handheld mirror to check to see if the part is straight and usually it's not and that's why i recommend using two mirrors usually the big one in front and then the small one at the back at this point my hair is tangled and needed to be detangled and i do that mostly on wash days with my conditioner in and so i went ahead to wash my hair condition detangle and then it was ready for parting and since we don't have any fancy hair pattern mirror, let's get creative because creativity is what we do on this channel. And so I used a rubber band to hang the um, handheld mirror at the back of the door on hooks I already had at the back of the door. I positioned it in a way so I could see the back of my head. So I ended up opening the door just a little to help with the positioning. Another tip is to have your hair stretched and let it dry. I just finished washing my hair and I put it in twists to stretch it but I didn't let it dry completely before I started patting and so it shrinks back right after I let it loose and once there's shrinkage it begins to tangle up little by little. So I'm going to be using this metallic rattle comb. There are other um, patting combs that you can equally use to get very clean parts. And this is obviously a broken tail comb and so i'm going to make a part down the middle because i find doing the parts in halves makes it easier for me so i try to use this rattle comb at an angle that wouldn't hurt my scalp and that would also be effective in pattern so with the help of the front mirror i start making the parts from the front and when i'm satisfied with how clean the part is i turn to the back and then use the rear mirror to continue the pattern Now there are a few tips to help make the part straight and also to keep the part straight as you are braiding. I say that because some of the times whilst you are braiding you have strands from the other session into the session you are braiding and that kind of ruins the part. So one tip I use to make the part clean is to press the tail slightly against the scalp and what this does is it goes underneath the hair strands and then lifts them off the part as I lift the comb. I don't apply much pressure. I'm careful not to hurt my scalp as well while doing this. So during braiding, to prevent some of the strands from crossing over into the session I'm braiding, I use a clip to secure the um, session I'm not braiding. And sometimes I use the comb to secure the side I'm not braiding. There may be a few short strands which wouldn't go in the clip and so this will help um, to keep those strands away. And also while I do the braiding, I try to use my hand to do um, kind of uh, a, a sweeping motion to keep the um, strands from the other sessions away. After patting down the middle, I put one half away and divide the other half also in two equal sessions. So the intention here is to have eight cornrows and so I'll end up dividing this again into two and then I'll have my eight cornrows. So there are two reasons I like to prepack my hair before I start the cornrows. One, I'm able to decide where each part should be and also make same size sessions. And then secondly, I have a session stretched in twist whilst I do the cornrows until it's time to um, actually cornrow that session. If you find this video helpful so far, don't forget to click the like button. So I actually couldn't complete this cornrows. Remember when I said I washed and detangled my hair? Yeah, I still had flakes on my scalp. I didn't do any anti-dandruff treatment prior to um, washing my hair. And so I had flakes on my scalp and I didn't want to have cornrows with um, flakes sticking out. So I actually took down the cornrows, treated my scalp, washed it again. And then this time around, I just put my hair in twist and then that was it. I didn't go back to doing the cornrows. Thank you. 
If you are new here, welcome to Rosie Natural. My name is Rose and on this channel, I share with you my natural hair journey. It includes hair care, hairstyles and DIYs to help with the journey. And if this is something you find interesting or something you um, want to know more about, please click on the subscribe button if you haven't already to join this family. As I mentioned in the beginning, this video is about patting the hair for all back cornrows. If you have any questions on cornrows, you can put them in the comments and I'll be there to respond. I have about two cornrow videos, I'll also link in the description and also in the card above. If you have any video requests regarding cornrows, let me know in the comment section and if I'm able, I'll make a video on that. I hope this video was so much helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in my next video.